welcome to our Harvest Sunday, Sunday Club at Home video. I'm so glad you could join us and I hope that you enjoy our time together today. We start by singing, Be Bold, Be Strong. A reading from Exodus chapter 16. The Lord said to Moses, I have heard the complaints of the Israelites, so tell them, tonight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will have all the bread you want. Then you will know you can trust the Lord your God. That evening flocks of quail came from the camp, and in the morning dew lay on the ground all around it. After the dew was gone, something like thin flakes of frost was on the ground. When the Israelites saw it, they asked each other, what is that? Because they did not know what it was. So Moses told them, this is the food the Lord has given you to eat. The Lord says, each of you shall, shall gather what you need, a basket of manna for everyone in your family. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, hi. You just caught me writing a letter, but it will actually help us to think about Harvest Sunday, so I'd love to read it to you. Dear Patrick, thank you very much for the Bible story book that you gave Emily. We can't wait to read it with her. Love, Mike, Natalie and Emily. Now, you may have noticed that was a thank you letter. Emily's only one, so she needs a bit of help writing her thank you letters. But have you ever written a thank you letter? And you may well wonder, what does that have to do with Harvest Sunday? Well, Harvest is all about thanking God, and especially thanking God for the food that we eat. I think we all need this reminder, because I don't know about you, but I find it very easy just to gobble up the food on my plate and forget that God gave it to me. I can easily forget that God sent the sun so the plants would grow. God sent the rain so the plants would grow. So that I could have food in my cupboard and food on the table. Now, I'm not the only one who needs this reminder to thank God. As we heard in our Bible story today, God's people a long, long time ago were walking through the desert. Now, what do you know about deserts? Well, let me show you a picture to help us to think about deserts. You can probably see that there is a lot of sand in the desert. Well, let me tell you that it is also very, 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 very hot in the desert. There's very, very little water. Plants don't really grow there. And so when God's people started walking in the desert, 
they had to take all their food and all their water with them. Now, that's not so bad to begin with, is it? Because you can fit some water and some food in your bag. But as time went on, they drank the water, of course, and they had less and less water until they'd completely run out. And the same with the food. Obviously, they ate their sandwiches until the bag was completely empty. And God's people started to panic. They thought, where on earth are we going to get food and water from in the middle of this dry, hot desert? So they started grumbling and they started complaining. Even though God had rescued them from being slaves, they started to say they wanted to be back as slaves because at least then they got food to eat. They weren't even thinking about what God had already done for them. They were just in a great, big, grumpy, grumbly mood. So what does God do? What do you think God would say to his grumbly, grumpy people that he just rescued? Well, God said to them, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. Oh, wow. How kind is that? Despite their grumbling and complaining and their grumpiness, God promised to send them food. And we heard in our reading, God told them, Tonight you will eat meat and in the morning you will have all the bread you want. Then you will know you can trust the Lord your God. God was giving them not just bread, but meat as well, and as much as they could eat. How kind is that? And if you were tired and hungry, and food had rained down from the sky in the middle of the desert, how thankful would you be? How much would you thank God? And I'm sure God's people surely must have said a great big thank you to God. Maybe they even wrote God a thank you letter. Shall we have a look in the Bible and see? What? Oh wait, hang on. No. That can't, really? There's no mention in the Bible that they thanked God for the food. Gosh, the next bit of the story is them starting to complain about the water. Oh no. It seems that it can be very easy to forget the good things that God gives us. And if God's people who saw God provide them food from the sky needed to be reminded to thank him, how much more do we need to be reminded to thank God? when we can get our food from our parents or just from the cupboard. It can be so easy to forget that all our food and all our good things come from God. So having Harvest Sunday each year is a great reminder to thank God, not just for our food, but for all of the good things that God gives us. All of the ways that he is kind to us all of the ways that he gives us what we need. Like the clothes we're wearing, the people who take care of us, the place that we live in, and God's love and forgiveness. Just to name a few things, I'm sure you can look around, you can think of God, and you can think of many things to thank him for. Now, of course, there are hard things in life. Like God's people were really tired, they were really hungry and they were worried about where they'd get food from in the middle of the desert. But we don't want to get so focused on the difficult stuff 
that we forget all the ways that God has helped us and all of the good things that he has given us. Of course, we'll need to be reminded to thank God more than once a year at harvest because I don't know about you, but I can be a bit forgetful and I do need to be reminded of things. But why not start today? Remember at the beginning, I was writing a thank you letter to our friend Patrick. Well, I think there's an even more important letter that I could write now. It's a thank you letter to God. And perhaps you would like to write a thank you letter to God too. Maybe I could start writing now to give us some ideas. Dear God, Thank you so much for all of the good things that you give us. I thank you for my family and my friends, for my home and for my food. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your forgiveness. And so many other things that I could go on for a while but I think that you get the idea. And you might want to write it down or you might just want to say it in your head or say it out loud with your family. But however you decide to do it, the most important thing is to remember to thank God. And I hope that you have a really good Harvest Sunday and that you can enjoy many of the good things that God gives us. And I hope it is a great reminder to thank God for the good things he gives us, not just today, but every day. Hope to see you soon. Father God, we thank you for your love and kindness. On this Harvest Sunday, we thank you for all the good things that you give us. Thank you for the ways that you provide for us each day. We thank you for food, for shelter, for clothes, for loved ones and for many other things. Please help us to see the good things that, that you give us and to remember to thank you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Almighty God, we pray for those living in joy who don't have enough to eat and for those who struggle to make ends meet. Please help them to receive the support that they need. Please provide for all, all local food banks and help those who are in need to receive enough food. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Just leave and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and glory forever and ever. Amen. enjoyed that if you did make sure you press the subscribe button just at the bottom of this video and that way you won't miss out on our next upcoming videos we'll have one on the second sunday of each month and one on the fourth sunday of each month so do tune in to those we'll take care god bless and i hope to see you soon